What up? Hi. <laughs> How are you? Why are you yelling into the mic? Biatch. Get on with it. Okay. Oh, you want to hear something? Yeah. Okay, so um, earlier I was working hard. or hardly working. <laughs> no, I was working hard. Well, actually, I was kind of doing some mindless stuff, work. <clears throat> In, I don't know about you. I assume most people, maybe everyone but you. There's like mindless work and then the mind just kind of starts thinking about random ass shit. Yeah. Um, and so what the fuck was I thinking about? I don't know. It wasn't anything important, I don't think. Um, and then I was like, oh, I need to go to the ladies room. So <laughs> I go to the restroom and when I'm in the bathroom, all of a sudden out of complete thin air, my brain says, hey, when you were... I don't know, like 15 or 16, your best friend was a 40 year old felon. Dude. Really? Yes. And I, I never thought of her that way. And I wasn't even thinking of her. It was so fucking random. It was like, maybe my brain was like, you don't have shit to talk about on audio here. Let me help you out. And I was like, thank you. Cause I, uh, I don't really, I mean, I knew she, like, I met her because she just got out of prison. Um, like, that's why you met her? Well, yeah, because I was working at a fast food job. Because I was, like, a, a youth. And she was a grown-ass woman. And she, uh, you know, just got out of prison. So she got the job at the fast food place or whatever. And um, I don't know. Like, one day she was like, hey. Like, we worked together. And she, I don't know. She was really fucking cool. And one day she was like, hey, do you want to go get lunch together? And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, right? Like, I'm all about one-on-one, -on -one, like, quality time. You know what I mean? Best buds on day one. Dude, best buds. Dude, it was the best. Me and her, uh, we used to go to, like, crappy fucking restaurants and order some shitty ass food and just chat for fucking hours i was like dude i'm imagining a montage in, like, a 80s movie. Like, we're laughing. Ha ha. Like, yeah. the waitress is like warming up our cups with fresh coffee upbeat music yeah it was like that and uh we just talked about life and me and her hung out all the fucking time like that was like my best friend i mean i don't know if i thought of her as a best friend um but now that i'm a grown ass or a grown person sorry <laughs> calm down um <laughs> now that i'm grown and i look back at like you know what i would deem as a friendship or a close friendship it's like dude she's like my best fucking friend me and her hung out like every night and we just one-on-one -on -one time just chat about life just fucking keeping it real and um she used to give me rides from work sometimes and uh it was just like standard fucking practice we'd, we'd get in front of my parents place and she just turned the car off and we just sit in the car and just talk for hours it was so fucking nice I like that the detail that she was a felon just kind of went into the past. Dude, it didn't even... It <laughs> was so irrelevant. I mean, she told me stories sometimes and, you know, like, she'd cry and kind of, like, talk about the struggles of prison life. <laughs> um, you know, and she told me a little bit about, like, the shenanigans uh, mm -hmm. to give her the honors to go. But, um, but that was not, like... She that didn't, wasn't the cornerstone of her personality? No, no, not at all. Like, she didn't identify that way. Like she No, no facial tattoos? Well, she didn't... No, not at all. Like, she was really cool. And I... Like, I think it was, like, two or three years ago. It was a couple years ago. So that was, like, 17 years ago or some shit when me and her used to hang out. And then a couple years ago, I was like, dude, I should start writing. Like, I should like practice shit for fun like i shouldn't just work and think about how to improve work i should like practice some skills so i decided i would start writing little stories and this only lasted maybe like a week or two i made this story with this character essentially based on her because she was special to me and uh i so i was writing these stories and i was like describing her personality and uh like you know using drawing on her her character or whatever uh -huh. and then i hadn't talked to her in probably 15 years she messaged me out of the fucking blue and was like hey oh, fortuitous she was like hey i moved back to dallas um 
do you do you want to like get together sometime and I like shut my laptop and I was like <laughs> and I quit writing I was like I can't handle these mad skills I, I have and I haven't written since I need to crank open that laptop but anyway I tried to hang out with her but our schedules just uh wouldn't line up which is it's I'm sure it will you see my magic it I do it will peace <laughs>